All right, y'all. Welcome back and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you guys. Today, I do not have a question of the day. Today, I am going to answer the Christmas tag questions. And so stay tuned for that. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So the Christmas tag questions, there are 12 of them. We're going to go ahead and jump in so you guys can go ahead and spend the day with your families. All right, so I'll just be reading the questions off of my phone so we can go ahead and just jump right into them. I did not really look at the questions. I just wanted to make sure that they were uh, the Christmas tag questions. But as far as looking at them in detail, I did not do. So I'm going to answer a lot of these off the top of my head. Without further ado, me and my rambling, question number one. So it says, what is your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie is, um, <laughs> uh, oh, fine. What, what is the title? Oh, that's horrible. But my favorite one, y'all gonna know it, is with Ralphie and the whole rifle gun and how he's gonna shoot his eye out. That is my favorite one. I watch it every time it comes on. It's ridiculously uh, old, but I love it. Uh, what is it with the rifle gun? Oh, my God. See, I haven't even watched it this year. I've been doing all of this vlogmas. I hadn't even got a chance to watch my favorite Christmas movie. Anywho, I will say secondary is The Grinch, which is the Jim Carrey version. That one is just ridiculously funny. So if I had to pick two, it would be those two. All right, question number two. Really? My phone went dark. Okay, question number two is, do you have a favorite Christmas song? Uh, No, I don't. Moving on. Number three, when you... When do you put up your Christmas tree? So I have a one foot Christmas tree. Um, I do have a four footer as well. I usually put that on my table, the four footer. Um, anyway, I'll show you my one foot uh, Christmas tree. And it's because I have an infant, I wanted to make sure that we had one, but it's up out of the way so she can't touch it. I'll just go get that really quickly and show you my little Christmas tree. <laughs> See, I can carry my little Christmas tree, honey. Um, it actually failed one time before, so some of my stuff may look a little jumbled. Oh, you can't see. So some of my stuff may look a little jumbled because it does fall. It has um, like a little burlap um, wooden stand or whatever. And so I have um, some of my ornaments on there, my little ballerina, which I love, and my uh, little, little man here. And now I have a little keepsake from my little boo-boo. She drew on it, so she was, she's only one. So I have her first keys keepsake for us to keep right so i'll just leave that in the little little frame so you'll get to see a little bit of my tree okay but yeah so it's a one footer whatever <laughs> so i do have one but as far as to answer the question i did not answer when do i put it up i put it i usually put my stuff up at the beginning of december because i just like for it to be up and done and um, as you see, the, the Christmas decorations behind me, obviously, in, in the previous videos, you can't see them really good here. But anyway, yeah, so I usually do that early and then I'll take them down like uh, the first week of December or something like that. But yeah, so when do I put it up? At the beginning of December, usually. Do number four, do you peek at gifts or do you like surprises? Honestly, it depends on who the gift is coming from. So like some of my coworkers have given me gifts. Um, they get, well, I, let me say they gave me gifts um prior to me taking vacation from work and so i have a few of those gifts i did not open this one i told my coworker it has do not open until um 25 of december or whatever so i did promise her i did not open up this one but um my other co-workers they gave me some gifts so that's one of them which i have not eaten yet and i will be doing that today and then i have some mints and then Everybody knows my favorite store. Some of the docs got together, not some of them, anyway, the doc doctors got together and got each one of us an Amazon gift card. So I did peek at some of my gifts, but it just depends. Um, I have not opened up the ones from Boo or anything like that. So it depends on who it's from. Long answer, I know. <laughs> who would you like to kiss under the mistletoe? My Boo. If I'm talking about a celebrity, give me Idris or Morris. Just saying. Um, <laughs> number six, do you have any Christmas traditions? Um, at this point, we don't have any solidified with me and my family. We are starting to make some up. Um, you know, like I said, she just turned a year. So last year we didn't really do anything. I had my C-section. I don't even know if I told you guys I had a C-section, but I had my C-section and, and I wasn't trying to do nothing last year, but this year I'm a lot better. And as far as 
to answer the question because I, I just be going off on a tangent. But uh, <laughs> anywho, so to answer this question, no, we do not have any actual Christmas traditions. We were supposed to go drive around and see the lights. We haven't gotten around to that. You know, it's a lot of stuff that we be wanting to do, but that infant just takes over, honey. She takes over. <laughs> And it's her world, okay? <laughs> Number seven, what will you be wearing on Christmas Day? Well, this is what I will be wearing because it is Christmas Day. This is it right here. I have on my jeans um, and then just my little Santa hat, which I think is cute. These earrings, though. Anywho, yes, this is what I'm wearing. Okay, so uh, number eight, what does Christmas Day look like for you? Uh, it's just a nice sunny day here in San Diego. We do not get snow. So, yeah, it's just a nice uh, a sunny day. I think it's actually in the 60s right now, depending on the time. Yeah, but I think it's in the 60s right now, last time I checked. So, it's just a nice sunny day here. Uh, anywho, number nine, have you ever had any Christmas Day disasters? Nope, I haven't. Uh, number 10, what would you like for Christmas? I would like, honestly, just to be doing what I'm doing, which is just to be around family and friends and enjoying each other, eating all day, sleeping, and just playing with the baby and just having a good family day. I love those times. And then let me just also say, um, sometimes we'll go and have a big gathering with all of the siblings and nieces and nephews and everybody together. Uh, we usually do that either Thanksgiving or Christmas, but this year we didn't do either one and so we usually do it um every other year but that being said that would be another thing that i would like to do is just be around family and friends period whether it's just my own family and friends here in san diego or if we travel out of state and hang with everybody else depends uh da, 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 da. number 11 what has been your highlight of 2017 my highlight of 2017 has honestly just being a mom it really has uh she was born in November, so I only had two, two months, 2016. So 2017, she has definitely been the highlight of my life, the highlight of my year. Uh, she has just been a joy to watch, and, and this is just the beginning of it for me. Uh, every, not everybody, but lots of people have already passed this stage, especially those in their 30s and 40s, and now I am just now 40, and I'm just now getting to experience all of this stuff. And it's funny, this is a side note, but it's funny that now I'm looking at Facebook and everything like that, and all my friends' children are going off to college or even graduating college, or they're now becoming grandparents, and I am now just becoming a parent. So I'm just, I'm just loving it, y'all. I'm loving it, and I actually love the fact that I had a child later in life, but that's a different story. Moving on to the last question. Question. Number 12, will you make any resolutions for 2018? I won't be making any resolutions for 2018 because I am a goal oriented person. And so I don't just do them at the beginning of the year. I make goals all year long. And I have a few that I'm already working on for 2018 and so one of them I'll just share with you guys is a vision board I have done that for um, the past three or four years and a lot of them on my a lot I'm sorry a lot of the um, items or goals that I was trying to attain I have actually already done um, and so I will do another vision board this year um, I've actually talked to my fiance about it and he is jumping on board with me even though he's not 100% in he is playing along and he gave me some of the things that he would uh, like to attain and so I have printed out all of our stuff and I just need the actual board to attach them to so the vision board is one of the things that I will do it won't just be a new new year's resolution it will be what we're trying to attain um, throughout our life period we're trying to attain as much as we can in 2018 now those of you know who do vision boards or do goals or anything goal setting and stuff like that know that a lot of times the things that you are trying to work toward don't necessarily all happen at that one year or those few months mark that you're trying to reach it to. It really is just a life thing that we do. I am so happy that you guys have stuck around with me, especially for Vlogmas and just this time period. I have been on YouTube for two years, but I actually took a 10-month period off because I was you know, pregnant and everything, and I just wanted to give all of that time and attention to my baby. But I'm just so happy that you guys have decided to stick around with me. I super, super do appreciate it. You have no idea that... Um, 
you know, uh, I'm putting these things out there and just letting my voice be heard. And you guys are subscribing and just giving me nothing but positive feedback. And you have no idea how grateful I am. So I will see you guys. We still got another over a week with me for my Vlogmas. So tomorrow you're going to see me again. All right.